drone crashed and landed in that tree up there so I've got a rock that I've tied to some paracord and uh, put my sleeping bag and my pad down below it hoping that I can get the rock around a limb and then pull the limb and get the drone to fall hopefully safely into the uh, safely into the sleeping pad We'll see how that goes. This is, this is where knot tying practices come in handy. I found a little rock. I tried a couple different rocks, but the other ones were too big. This one was kind of a flat rock. And uh, so I tied, um, I tied a clove hitch on this to the rock and then backed that up with just an overhand knot, a couple overhand knots actually, just to secure it. I threw this many times before I got it and it rolled down. The the steep bank you can see we're hitting on those rocks cut all my cut my cord the paracord the sheeting on the paracord anyway but anyway so I did that <clears throat> um, once I got hooked on there I realized my paracord wasn't long enough so I ended up having to tie it to another piece of cord that I have here and I just did that with a sheet bend and then I backed that up with a little 
with a couple overhand knots just to just in case but it didn't move so um, that got me the length that I needed and um, probably could have done a fisherman's knot or something like that and done as well but I figured the sheet bend would work um, if not I could retie it so fortunately it was a successful mission it saved me about $500 when I tested the spark, everything seems to work all right. I've flown it a couple of times. I'm not really sure what happened on that. Um, I put it in quick shot rocket mode and then uh, activated it, told it to go up. And so I've got a nice little clearing right here above me. So I expected it to go straight up, which it did at first, but then for some reason it decided to start going forward. And then of course got in the big trees over there. Fell down a pretty good ways from the top of the tree. Um, and then landed in a branch in the tree. And so I thought, at first I was kind of upset that it got hung up in the tree because I wasn't sure how I was going to get it. It was probably, it was probably I don't know, 20, 25 feet from where I was. Maybe not that high, but certainly 20 feet. It was all I could do to chunk that rock up there. And, uh, and then, of course, it was right there on the, the sloping bank as it, as it goes down to the river. And so it's pretty high up and then of course rocks underneath it. So I'm actually glad it got hung up there in hindsight because I was able to put my sleeping pad and sleeping bag up underneath there and then break the fall with my hands. I tried to catch it, but I was kind of on a slope and I had to lean forward and so I wasn't able to catch it. But uh, I did break the fall with my hands and then it landed it into the sleeping bag. Doesn't look like it did any damage except for that lost prop, which I think it may have lost when it hit the, uh, hit the tree to begin with. But anyway, so I'm not sure what went wrong with that rocket mode, but I'm going to be t testing that out a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to take it up right now and try to get a similar shot, but I'm going to control it with the phone instead of putting it in a quick shot mode. So I'll give you an update on that at some point. <laughs> 